Hey guys, Prowl1701 here, and today we have a double unboxing. Ha ha! Yeah, I noticed I had something come in the mail, so I ran by the post office to get it, and um, what I didn't realize is there was two things. I didn't know I had two things coming, I just knew I had one, which is probably this one, um, which is something from Amazon, which I suspect is DVDs, um, and I think it might be more than one. It feels like it might be, I don't know why I like feeling the package, like I'm somehow going to be able to be Daredevil or something, or somebody and sense what's in it, but... Feels like DVDs. Feels like maybe two DVDs. It's got a thickness to it. It feels like it could be more than one DVD, like two. Interesting thing is, this package, I think, shipped out the day after my Knights of the Round Table video went out, that first one. The one where we were talking about if you only had to sacrifice one, or if you had to sacrifice one story from each season of Doctor Who, which one would you sacrifice and why? And as I was reading through y'all's comments in that video, <clears throat> The one for season one that kept coming up was the Censorites. And so I just started making jokes about it. It's like, oh, look, our good friend, the Censorites again. And I remember one of my, one of my regular subscribers who's been with me for a while down in the comments, uh, Michael Webster, who was also my very first patron on Patreon as well. Uh, he, he commented down there, you know somebody's going to send you a copy of the Censorites now. <laughs> And we had a good laugh about it. And then it was like later that night, I noticed I had something that was supposed to be coming in soon. And I got to admit, I, I wondered. I'm like, I wonder if somebody did that. I wonder if somebody sent a copy of the sensor rights. Just because it kept coming up in the video and I kept joking about it. Because there was uh, two or three of them that came up a lot. Colony in Space came up way too often. I was highly disappointed with y'all. Highly disappointed. <laughs> so, and th this does feel like two of them though. And then there's this one, which as soon as I saw it, I immediately thought it was from the Fly Attractor because it's packaged the same way he packages a lot of his. The how do I get in it? How do I get into it without destroying what's in it? Packaging. <laughs> but then as I looked at it, I noticed it is from it's international uh, shipping, so it is from the UK, and I know Fly Attractor is here in the states like I am, so it is uh, something from the UK uh, that is. Very well packaged. Looks like it's from Newton Willows, whatever that is. Merseyside. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> and I'm not going to say the name on it because they might not want me to do that. But man, this is this is going to be an interesting one to get into. It feels like a book. If I had to guess, I'd say it was a book. Something about the packaging and everything makes me think this is a book. So we'll see if we can get in here real quick and without trying to destroy anything. Oh, wow. Uh, that, but this one definitely came overseas. Took it a couple weeks to get here. It looked like it shipped out in late May. And I am recording this in mid-June. <laughs> I am having a devil of a time getting in here. They really it. <laughs> this is the same way my aunt wraps Christmas presents uh, back when I was growing up. Me and me and her son, one of my cousins, were close. We were very similar in age, so we spent some holidays together, and we we tended to make sure we got each other presents. And the way the aunt, my aunt, wrapped the stuff she sent. I can't tell what this is. Oh, it's a big finish audio thing. I see Sylvester McCoy. Unit Dominion? Is that what it says? Okay. Uh, it's really wrapped up. Unit Dominion. It looks like some big finish audio with the seventh doctor. And I think that's the master, the bald guy. I think that's the, uh, the big finish version of the master. I'm not really familiar with that incarnation. But I've seen pictures of him, and I know he's in stuff. Let's see if we can get in here. I did not know this was coming. This is a shock to me. Because, you know, sometimes people will kind of tell me when stuff's coming. Although I think some of y'all probably like seeing my surprise in the reactions. Uh, so I think y'all like uh, me not knowing ahead of time. I'm, I'm fine either way. It doesn't bother me either way. 
uh, whichever y'all prefer. Oh my goodness. Uh, there we go. Ha ha. Unit uh, Dominion starring Sylvester McCoy, Tracy Childs, Beth Chalmers, and Alex McQueen. And I think Alex McQueen is supposed to be like a version of the Master. I don't know where he is on the Master's timeline. Unit Dominion. The, union, the universe stands on the brink of a dimensional crisis and the Doctor and... I don't know what her name is. Rain? Ronnie? Or pulled into the very epicenter of it. And it, okay, got unit in it, obviously. And obviously, this is several stories here. We have part one. Oh, I love that shot of McCoy from the TV movie. That's one of the greatest uh, shots of McCoy, like, ever. I love that shot. That look just says, oh, that's just what I call the greatest oh shit look ever. You can take one look at his face and know what's going through his mind is, oh shit. <laughs> This two, I don't know who she is. Um, this three, I also don't know who she is. I don't know some of the big Finnish companions. And this four, with I like I said, I believe that's a version of the master, the one that's usually in the big Finnish stuff. Uh, I don't know where he falls on the timeline of masters, which incarnations he's between. Oh, this is cool. This is a. Uh, I'm guessing these are all separate stories, full cast audio dramas. So, um, I don't know who sent this. Like, I see their name on here, but I don't know if they want me to say their name, their in real life name on here. I don't know who, what their screen name is down on, in the uh, comments, but uh, I definitely hope you let me know so I can thank you. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm finally getting to experience some big finish stuff. Uh, I just watched, I just listened to Out of Time Part 1 recently with the 10th Doctor and the 4th Doctor. And I have a review coming on that if it hasn't aired yet. I don't know if that'll air before or after this. Probably probably after this, but I have recorded it. So uh, to whoever sent this to me, thank you for uh, sending it to me, especially all the way from the UK. I really appreciate that. I do love me some Seventh Doctor. So I'm looking forward to that. And... Okay. Wasn't sure if there was... Making sure there wasn't like a note or anything in there. I don't think so. I, mean, I don't think that was a note. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. And then let's dig into this. Like I said, this was looks like it was ordered from Amazon, so it might have been off my wish list, maybe. Which means I have to remember to take a couple things off the wish list. And I, I think it's two DVDs, and I'm going to laugh if one of them is the sensor right, so I'm going to chuckle. Let's see what we got. We have... Ooh, The Happiness Patrol! Ha-ha! The only McCoy story... I have not seen yet. I will, when I watch this, it will be the first time I have completed an entire Classic Doctor's run. Because th there's not any of the Classic Doctors I've seen every story of. Tom Baker still has one I haven't seen. Uh, Colin still has three I haven't seen, which I figured I would have finished him his first when the Season 22 set comes out. This is the only McCoy I haven't seen. Um... John still has two or three I haven't seen, and um, there's still several Hardinals I haven't seen. And then the other one is Invasion of the Dinosaurs, ah, which I, a lot of you know I have also been wanting to see. Um, I've never seen Invasion of the Dinosaurs either. That's definitely been on my list because I am aware of the bad effects of the dinosaurs, but... Everybody tells me the story's phenomenal. Like, if you can look past the special effects, which as a Classic Who fan, I nine times out of ten can. You know, there's a few that are hard, like Kroll and Invasion of Time. But the story's really good. I do know some of the stuff that happens in it. Like, I know I know what happens with Yates in it. I'm well aware of uh, everything that happens with Yates. Because I see him trying to redeem himself in Planet of the Spiders. But yeah, I am looking forward to this. This will be a nice, give me a nice little breather from the... Uh, First Doctor. I've watched a lot of First Doctor lately. I still have to get through Keys of, Keys of Marinus, The Chase, and The Space Museum. But I like kind of having something as a palate cleanser. Um, kind of like Planet of Fire was for when I went through the Romans. Uh, so that's really neat. Yeah. Um, I'll get to see more of Season 11. That means I'll have seen most of Season 11. After I watch this, the only one I won't have seen yet is Monsters of Belladon. And I will have seen every McCoy era. I can actually rank all of the McCoy era. So I will definitely be watching these soon. I really, 
uh, appreciate. I don't know who actually sent these either. Again, I wasn't given any notice these were coming, so I have no idea who sent these, but uh, whoever whoever sent them, thank you. These are two Doctor Who stories I've very much been looking forward to seeing. Everybody tells me I'll probably like this one. Um, I know several people, including uh, Nakaya Koku, one of my regulars, has told me, basically it boils down to, if you like Paradise Towers, you'll like Happiness Patrol. If you don't like Paradise Towers, you won't like Happiness Patrol. And I really enjoyed Paradise Towers. Uh, so I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. I know it's kind of, uh, I believe it's kind of satire Margaret Thatcher. I'm aware of that. And I think it's the famous episode with the pink TARDIS. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And I'm always up for more Sylvester McCoy and Ace, just as I'm always up for seeing more of Three with Sarah. Because I, I haven't really seen a whole lot of Three with Sarah since they didn't get a lot of time together. One of the things I like about the Five Doctors, we get more of them together. So I really appreciate um, all of this. I really appreciate... Uh, whoever sent me this all the way from the UK, and I really appreciate whoever um, ordered these. I believe they were both on my Amazon wish list. I have to remember to go take those off. So I just want to say thank you. I'm not again. I don't know who sent either of them, but I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot that people like my channel, especially since my channel is a small channel. I mean, my videos get what 200 views maybe within a day or two. So it's a small channel. So the fact that there, I have. So many people who send me things is mind-boggling, and I appreciate everyone who sends things. I appreciate everyone on my Patreon, uh, especially two of my top-tier patrons, Stephen Crane and The Fifth Doctor. I appreciate everyone's continued support there, and I appreciate everyone who has subscribed and just everyone who watches. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you watch my videos regularly, I would certainly appreciate you clicking the subscribe button. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, and that does help me grow the channel. There's a lot of things that unlock when I hit 1,000 subscribers. Uh, right now, I'll sell for 800 subscribers, you know, baby steps, but I'd like to hit 1,000 because, you know, I'd love to eventually be able to do live streams and stuff like that. Um, I need to buy myself a good external camera for the computer. I definitely need to put a little more money into my setup. But I do appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if there's anything you would like to send me, I do have my P.O. box down in the description below. I do have a link to my Patreon down there as well, as well as my P.O. Box in the description below, and a link to my Amazon wish list, which I update regularly if you would like to check that out. Uh, most importantly, though, thank you for watching.